a plane on a runway takes 16.2 seconds over a distance of 1200 meter to take off from rest. Assuming constant acceleration during takeoff, calculate the acceleration during takeoff. Okay, so uh, this is a, a uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, what information given here? We have the time taken. Uh, it travelled a distance of 1200. This is the displacement to take off. Uh, take off from rest. That means this initial velocity is zero. Okay. Uh, to take off. Uh, here we have the final velocity. We need to find. Okay. Uh, so assuming the constant acceleration uh, during takeoff. So all the all this while the acceleration is there is an acceleration and it is constant. Yeah, the acceleration is constant. So we can use the kinematic formula. Uh, during takeoff, calculate uh, the acceleration during takeoff. Okay, so how uh, how are we going to do this? Yeah, so we need to find the acceleration. Okay, the question asks to find acceleration. Um, to take off from rest. Okay, take off just mean uh, merely uh, just take take off. Yeah, all right. Uh, a. Okay, find the acceleration. So we have a uh, s u a t. Uh, we have s u a t, isn't it? Uh, so SWAT. So what information? Uh, what what equation have this SWAT? Yeah, or uh, we can use the formula SUTAT. Yeah, SUTAT, which is S equal to U T plus half A T square. Ah, okay. So just substitute the information. Uh, uh, from rest. Yeah, it start from rest. So this is zero. Okay. Uh, and then half a t square is 16.2. So what is our acceleration? Okay, let's calculate. Okay, it is uh, 9.14. Uh, 9.14 uh, meter per second square. Okay. Now how about question B? Uh, to take off. Uh, what is the speed on leaving the ground? So uh, you know the plane is try trying to fly fly off the ground so when leaving the ground this is the final speed uh, we need to find yeah what is the final final velocity final speed okay so um uh, so we have we have v u s t isn't it the formula v u s t we can use a formula uh you know uh, uh, uh we can use a formula half s equal to half u plus v t Okay, uh, or we also can even use the formula of what, yeah, which is which is this one, uh, because we have uh, acceleration already. Uh, we also can use v equal to u plus at, uh, which is v equal to u plus at. So we have uh, either way, you, we will get the same answer. Uh, let us try try out both both uh, equation. So uh, we have the displacement thousand and two hundred. Uh, initial velocity is start from rest. Okay, find the final velocity after 16.2 seconds. So, what's the answer for this one? Okay, uh, the final velocity is 148.15 meter per second. Uh, or if we use this formula, what? Yeah, v equal to u plus at, we surely get the same answer. Yeah, uh, u initial velocity is zero, acceleration just now we got what 9.14. And time taken is uh, 16.2. Let's calculate. Do we get the same answer? Yeah, exactly the same answer. Yeah? Uh, uh, what, uh, 148.07. A little bit different because uh, a little bit different because uh, we already round up the acceleration value. If we don't round up uh, we will get answer very similar to this one. Okay, uh, that's why it's good. Uh, it's better if you use the original information given in the question, more accurate. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, you have uh, uh, many ways to do the questions. Okay, so the answer is correct. Yep. So don't forget the unit. Uh. You must have the unit. Uh, acceleration is meter per second square.
uh, the velocity is meter per second okay